Hello, my name is Chris Brockley and I would like to share with you the work and vision of the Earth Cube project. Allow me to give you a bit of background. I was born and raised in Alaska where my father, who came from Switzerland, and my mother, of American Indian heritage, homesteaded on the waters of Ketchumak Bay. As a child, I experienced the second largest earthquake in world history. This created an interest in disaster-resistant homes, which has continued to this day. I've lived in New Zealand for most of my life now and spent several decades designing and building solid, sustainable homes for around New Zealand and other parts of the world. The homes in their interiors were created to last for generations to come and built with craftsmanship and solid materials. I've also designed the interiors of super yachts, which, though they cost millions, are restricted on space and require very careful planning to achieve a good feel. So I worked on large projects for wealthy people because I wanted to do high quality work. But then I realized I could do high quality work and work on affordable homes at the same time. You see, we were basically in a vicious cycle where many people were renting for their whole lifetime, spending much or most of their income on rent, but having no family legacy for all their hard work and money. The idea that I worked around was that we could find ways that people could rent to own the homes by using modular homes on family land. As I worked through the concept on this, I came up with a number of important points. They had to be assembled like Lego blocks. They had to be built to last for generations to follow. They had to be of the highest quality at the lowest cost and be highly durable and resistant to natural disasters. They had to be easily and economically transported and able to stack to multiple stories. We had to be able to reassemble them on other sites if necessary and they need to be licensed and identified to protect the investment. And finally, they had to be inspiring and uplifting for those who lived in them. Unlike so many housing projects around the world, they had to feel good. In brief, my concept was simply to take what I'd learned in super yachts, high quality, making the most of space, but also combining it with the module that was the strongest structural component I could possibly get at an affordable price, which turned out to be the shipping container. So after careful planning, we built our first unit. Here you see it, it's plastered over the outside of those containers. But the interiors were solid wood, bamboo, and other beautiful hard-wearing materials. Our second project, we used plywood over the outside of the containers, and the interiors we used a simple paintable finish like you see here. We also built for the tropical islands and these projects had to be resistant to earthquake, hurricane, burglars, termites, water and fire. Let's consider for a moment what a shipping container is. It's a box made under international standards accepted by every country of the world able to travel by ship, by train, by truck, able to stack eight stories high, to span, to cantilever, to make these fantastic shapes with no additional engineering costs. It's licensed for many tons to be placed on the roof and thousands of kilonewtons of racking force to work against it with no damage. It's the cheapest network on the planet to send anything. And so we built with these containers for some time building them here in New Zealand, taking them to site and assembling them. But of course, New Zealand is one of the most expensive countries in the world to build just about anything. So I traveled to Asia and looked at several factories, finding one that could adapt to our needs for New Zealand and build these, not using old containers and chopping them up, but building them from the ground up to be a house built to New Zealand specifications, but with container size modules. And so we can either repurpose existing containers at our facility in New Zealand or import the completed modules ready to assemble. For each project, we consider which system is best suited to the homeowner and their particular situation. My personal vision is an alternative building school 
for people within the Maori community with a hands-on learning experience that is actually creating a high standard of homes built to last for future generations and a sustainable world. Thank you for taking time to view this and please let me know of any ideas you have to contribute to this vision.